Hi, this is Sally Joy at Garth. And before Leroy left on his journey for today, running around town, checking on pet stores and salt and meeting with people and checking all our tanks, getting all our systems water level, he asked me to do him a favor. He asked me if I would decorate his 135. So the whole time he's been gone, I've been playing with the tank. It'll look a lot more fluffy tomorrow morning when everything comes out. But I just took corals that were all part of our, some of our brood stock, some cuttings that are ready to go out to customers. And I painted a picture. Even my fish aren't even disturbed. They're just like, well, that's great. Thanks. More places to hide, more food to feed us, more, 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 more. They're always happy when it's more, more, more. Sure looks a lot different. I really love this size tank. It's really a lot like the 55 gallons, so it's not so deep. It's longer, but it's not so deep. The deep ones I just have such a hard time working in because they're so deep I can't get my arm all the way in. And I always constantly have my hands in the tank pulling things out. Now I'll take you a little bit close up and personal with some of these coals and introduce you to them. Let me see if I can follow the video as I go. These right here are blue recordias. I do have some on the inner sails. There's orange, blue, and green. This is one of the gorgonians we have. We have like three different types of gorgonians that we have ready to go that are part of our sail. This one is a really great coral, and I don't I don't let a lot of it go out because I'm still trying to grow it enough. So it becomes like a weed, and, and I like to let it go, but it's a purple, I don't know if it's a clove coral, I really don't know, but it is a pretty fast grower, and it does really good, and it's that deep purple. Sometimes in other lights, it actually looks blue. This one is one of Leroy's favorite, it's the Duncan, and we do have cuttings of that ready to go. Here's another one of our Gorgonians. And I have lots of disc corals ready to go. Palithoa down here. There's Monopora. And of course, lots and lots of zinnias. Zinnias and villas, woods polyps, they're all my favorites. I'm constantly, constantly playing with them. And you have to. If you're going to be a zinnia farmer, you have to farm. You cannot just let them grow because eventually they'll hit a critical mass and you will have absolutely nothing but mush. And so it's really important if you're gonna raise coral, exenias, that you have to propagate them. We have Facilipora, yellow scroll, yellow polyps. Lots of different zoanthids. Monopora, Syriatopora, cup corals. I love my red mackerel algae. I do sometimes put that on bugs too. It is said if you have a tang in your tank, it's gone. It lasts just a second. The tang will eat it, but otherwise you can actually grow it. I started with a piece that was no bigger than a pencil eraser. She's a real beauty. Oh, there's Penelope. Hi, Penelope. What are you doing? <laughs> she wants in the picture. She's probably saying, I want fed. Anyhow, I thought I'd show you a little about what I did today. I just decorated the Royce Reef. We'll check on it back tomorrow and see how fluffed up everything gets. Of course, these are the Capnella cuttings. 
and Philias. Lots of different kinds of zinnias. It's so fun. Every day this makes my heart smile. I hope it makes your smile as well. Bye from Garf. If you have any questions, please give us a call. 1-800-600-6163. And remember, the only dumb question there is in the world is the one that you don't ask. So don't feel silly. Ask any questions. We'll do our best to answer them. Bye for now. Say bye, Penelope. Goodbye.